Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that ending. Oh, I got... Ah, oh, I got to do it. I got to do it. What's another three minutes? <laughs> it's showtime, folks. everyone welcome to into the music it's greg and who needs me yapping away when we have a 23 minute song so let's get into it genesis up is ready walking across the sitting room i turn the television off sitting beside you i look into your eyes as the sound of motor cars fades in the night time i swear i saw your face change it didn't seem quite right and it's hello babe with your guardian ass so blue cool hey my baby don't you know our love is true oh it's acoustic guitars Coming closer with our eyes, a distance falls around our bodies. Out in the garden, the moon seems very bright. Six saintly shrouded men move across the lawn slowly. The seventh walks in front with a cross held high in hand. And it's, hey babe, your supper's waiting for you. Hey my baby, don't you know our love is true? I've been so far from here, far from your warm arms. It's good to feel you again. It's been a long, long time So good. Beautiful. Hypnotizing.
Collins playing drums? Yeah, so good. That's a real flute. Wearing feelings on our faces, what our face is to caress. We walked across the fields to see the children of the West. But we saw a host of dark skinned warriors standing still below the ground. Oh, that guitar! Oh! Is that keys, that guitar? Electric. Or is it two guitars? Those are the keys.
so interesting. Wow. Wandering in the chaos the battle has left We climb up the mountain of human flesh To a plateau of green grass and green trees Full of life A young figure Sit still by a pool He's been stamped Human bacon By some butchery tool He is you Social security Took care of this lad We watch in reverence As Narcissus is turned to a flower A flower? If you go down to Willow Farm To look for butterflies Flutterbuns, butterflies Open your eyes It's full of surprise Everyone rides like a fox on the rocks And the musical box There's mum and dad and good and bad And everyone's happy to be here There's Winston Churchill dressed in drag He used to be a British flag Plastic bag, what a drag The frog was a prince The prince was a brick, the brick was an egg The egg was a bird My wings were sweet little wings And I'm proud of your tail Haven't you heard?
Not a guitar. That's beautiful. LP. Oh, sounds like them. Wow. And like Carl Palmer too. It just sounds it's like ELP. It's crazy. So good. I love this.
so much space. Wow. So beautiful. I love that ending. Ah, oh, I got Ah, oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. What's another three minutes? <laughs>
My heart. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> My whole soul. Oof. Achingly beautiful. That end. I want to play it over again. Those last three minutes. I mean, the whole song is amazing. I can't play the whole song. But that end... Is this, this is about the Last Supper? <laughs> Just those lyrics at the end. I mean, uh, I usually read lyrics at the end of every reaction. I, I, I think I'm going to be like another 10, 15 minutes if I was to read everything. I'll pull up the lyrics, though, and I'll skim it. And uh, it could just be an abstracted thing, and the ending happens to sort of sing about, you know, King of Kings and leading children back to Jerusalem. Yeah, I don't know. A really fascinating, fascinating song. What a journey. Wow. All right, well, let me let me gather it all together in my head, and let's talk on the other side. Oh, that ending. That ending, I could, I could play that over and over and over. What's amazing is a 23-minute song. And to be ready... At minute 19, like I'm right around that, to be ready, still wide-eyed <laughs> and open-eared and ready for the next thing that this band was going to throw me in the song. And then they threw me that. So, I mean, again, a testament to this band to keep my interest for 19 minutes with some amazing stuff. Everything. There were so many change-ups in that song. And everything was so interesting. And that's, a, that's let's just go back to the transitions. There's so many of them. I mean, I wrote all these notes here, but there's so many of them. It wasn't like, you know, they kind of went to one thing and they stretched it out for five minutes. And then they got into another sort of groove and they did that for five to six minutes. And then boom, boom. And like four transitions. And then they carried out with that end. No, it was like one to two minutes of something and then boom, another minute and then three minutes and then one minute of something else and then two minutes. Of, they just kept changing it up. They went from acoustic to like, you know, some harder, some progressive and then pulled it back to another acoustic. But then the acoustic um, like five minutes in was different than the acoustic was that was up front. Uh, and it just kept changing, just kept evolving. And they threw some flute in. And Collins, oh, all through all through all that, <laughs> was just playing amazing, inspiring drumming. I always knew he was good. I didn't realize that he was this good. He was fantastic. He sounded, he sounded like Carl Palmer at times, and I love Carl Palmer. I think Carl Palmer is one of the greatest drummers. Whoever, you know, held drumsticks. He sounded like him. In fact, the band, what I was interested in too, there were certain moments of the song where you could just hear influences. And what's really cool is that I'm not sure if it was um, other bands influencing Genesis. And I'm hearing Genesis like, oh, well, they're influenced by Pink Floyd. Oh, they're influenced by, you know, by Yes. Oh, they're influenced by ELP. I'm I'm wondering now, like, when this came out. Because maybe it was the other way around. Maybe the sounds that I'm hearing, that I was hearing in this song, and saying, oh, the similarity. Maybe it's those groups being influenced by Genesis. So I got to check out the year. And I will. I have some information pulled up. But, I mean, a year and a half that this channel has been in existence and I'm only doing Genesis now. What does that say about me? I'm a stupid head. <laughs>
biased against progressive. I mean, I've talked about it before. Progressive has been hit and miss for me. Some of it is amazing. Some of it is not. I think a lot of it has to do with they take these twists and turns. And sometimes I want sometimes uniformity. You know, sometimes I, you know, I don't want to hear another new thing 15 times, you know, in. But something about this song, though. Something about this song had me had me it might have been and i'll admit and the reason why i'm doing this song and i think it was the cardiacs well cardiacs dirty boy so i reacted to that song about a week ago if you have not watched that reaction forget the reaction go check out cardiacs dirty boy just go you're fine on youtube go and spot no spotify they don't something's happening in spotify with cardiacs but find it on YouTube and go listen to it. And if you want to listen to my reaction, you know, because I loved it. But just listen to the song. But in that comment thread, I think it was that one, because the ending is just, the band is just trying just to reach new heights and just going higher and higher as though they're building this kind of, you know, sound ladder up to the heavens. And I think it was in that thread that someone said, boy, that ending sounded a lot like Stuff is ready by Genesis. And I think that person is onto something. Yeah. It just, it just kept those last four minutes or so. And Phil's drumming and Steve Hackett, who's the guitarist, right? This is definitely in the 70s. This is definitely like early 70s, I think, 72, 73. I mean, Hackett was, I think he was guitarist there. For that band for six years or so maybe a little bit longer that's steve hackett's playing and him and mike rutherford uh collins and gabriel's voice and i love gabriel's voice i mean throughout the song but the last three to four minutes where he's belting out and i've talked about it i love the authenticity of singers when they're reaching they're reaching it's, it's balls in everything you know they push the chips in they're like they're going for it and they may they may with that going for it you hear that sort of raspiness you know their voice breaks there's some strain there but the power and the emotion and the buy-in that they have believing every word that's coming out it's coming from the heart coming from the soul and it was coming from gabriel's soul everything he sang and there were some you know cracks there but it was beautiful it was beautiful i wrote down all these notes here and i was going to just go through everything i think i might have done it already it's just great i mean think i mean just name name an instrument they put it in here for flute. <laughs> I mean, how many different ways they could play acoustic guitar and make it just sound so beautiful and interesting. I mean, I love the sound of acoustic, but to play acoustic guitar at certain times of the song and make it and, and it's so innovative, so interesting. And all the while. Phil Collins is just playing his ass off. Wow. There, there were moments where like there was that Pink Floyd feel. I have to find out. I got I got I got I can't wait to find out what year this is. Sounded like Pink Floyd and not the old Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, like in 73, 74. When they were doing what animals and stuff, and even some wall. Mm. There was also a part in the song that sounded so much like that that organ lead in for uh, Come Sail Away, Sticks. Come sail away, come sail away, won't you sail away with me, lad? Yeah, yeah, the keys sounded like Sticks. It was it was maybe like a minute or so after there was this part where I think it's Hackett, right? He's playing this fuzz sounding electric guitar. 
and sounded so good. That was after like this really kind of typical 70s organ sound. And then there was this fuzz, like this fuzz sounding guitar. And it was just, it was just. And then you had that part there, Sticks. Ah, I love the song. I love the song. I'm so glad. So when I saw that comment in that thread, you know how many times I see people drop, you know, hey, listen to this. Check this out. It sounds like this. You may want to go to this. And I look at it. And sometimes I write the names down. And a lot of times I don't. And I try to remember it. And it's stupid because I don't. Because there's so many. There are. There's a lot of comments that drop each day. Um, and not just for the song that dropped that day, but for reactions that I've done months ago, over a year ago, you know, every once in a while, get a new listener to something that we published about a year ago. So it's coming all different ways, you know, and I finally started like writing some stuff down and going into YouTube and pulling things in. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. And when I saw that comment, I said, you know what, I haven't done old Genesis. I have not done any. And I'm like, it's about time that I do. And then when I went and I saw it was 23 minutes long. <laughs> At first I was like, um, really? And then I said, you know what? What the hell? It's only fitting. <laughs> the first Genesis song is going to be like that long. Uh, all right, let me. Uh, but I mean, oh, I'm so glad I stayed with this. All right, let me pull, let me just look at, I'm not going to read all the lyrics. I'm not. Um, but there is a contribution here. This is genius.com and the lyric website that I use almost every single song reaction. And the person here says, written and composed by Tony Banks, Phil Collins, uh, Steve Hackett, and Mike Rutherford. Personnel, Tony Banks keyboard. 12-string guitar, Phil Collins. Percussion, back and vocals, Peter Gabriel. Vocals, flute, tambourine, Steve Hackett. Electric guitar, 12-string guitar, Mike Rutherford. Wow. Okay, so it wasn't just... So Steve Hackett is definitely playing on a song. And Mike Rutherford's playing guitar. So I knew he played... So he plays bass and playing guitar, too. All right. So it's not just Steve Hackett playing everything. All the guitar. And this was 1972 on the album Foxtrot. Okay, so I was right. It was like 72, 73. All right, and wow, look at all these lyrics. <laughs> uh, let me just, let me try to find, I just saw something here, 666. 666 is no longer below. He's getting out the marrow in your backbone and the seven trumpets blown. So that's, am I right that this is about the Last Supper? So supper's ready, and that the very end he's talking about Jesus, the Messiah. Um, let me go to that last part. There's an angel. Here, I'll start with this. Can't you feel our souls ignite, shedding ever-changing colors in the darkness of the fading night, like the river joins the ocean as the germ in a seed grows. We've finally been freed to get back home. And then there's an angel standing in the sun and he's crying with a loud voice. This is the supper of the mighty one. Lord of Lords, King of Kings has returned to lead his children home to take them to the new Jerusalem. And Gabriel's voice is just screaming it out. Whatever's left of his voice for those 23 minutes 22 minutes and then, I don't know, last minute. Uh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to get back to that song. I don't, I, yeah, I'm going to listen to the whole thing again. Absolutely. Knowing that that ending is waiting for me. Ah, talk about, right, because I think he sings at the end, like about going back home. I know that home, <laughs> that's my home. Solace, take comfort in. I'm going to take comfort in that ending. Ah, God, it's so good. So good. 
to whoever you are, if you're watching this, whoever put that comment in, if it's the cardiacs, dirty boy or something else, thank you. Thank you. You're the reason why I'm doing this reaction today. So with that said, what is that next? Actually, my son, Sean, was listening to a Genesis song not long ago, the other day, and it sounded so good. I got to ask him what song that is. It sounded like old Genesis, too. Um, and uh, it was kind of cool. I'm like, I'm going to react to this thing, and I'm listening to That's how it goes. All of a sudden, you know, you know you're going to do something, and then all of a sudden things start happening and sort of connected to that. Anyway, um, all right. You can tell I'm excited. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think about this band, about the song. What's the next one that I should be doing? And in the meantime, I hope to see every one of you on the next episode of Into the Music. Yeah.